I almost didn't make it to this live. Um, hello. <laughs> I'm full. I just ate lunch, late lunch. And I ate Romanian traditional late lunch, which is a lot. And I'm full. How are you guys? Oscar. Hey. That's why I, you know, all the time I have to stop him from doing this. Do the readings too. Hey, stop pushing your head against things. What's up, guys? What's going on? Let's see. Can you guys hear me? I'm gonna... Um, I have my... Um, okay, there you are. Okay, so you can hear me. <laughs> good. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that's so good, but... Uh, I have you guys on a bigger screen here. That's why I'm to the side a little bit. I gotta check you out. Yeah, my, my Christmas pajamas. I'm uh, finally in my Christmas pajamas. I'm not getting out of them until Christmas. How are the fur babies? They're sleeping, but I got tools for that. I'm gonna give them a couple more minutes. Man, don't tell me I came unprepared. I had one very important thing that I got from under the couch, which is their toy. Where is it? Uh, hold on. It's not here. I I don't have it. Well, I have one thing, but I'm not sure that all of them are going to respond to that. Uh, what's going on with you guys today? What you doing? Please stay to the back. I'm not playing this game. Okay. What you doing today? Did you have a good time? Did you run like crazy like I did? And then I stopped for this live. I'm like, I gotta go live. I promise them. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Ah. If you don't stop it, you're gonna get a bath. You're gonna get a bath regardless, but. All right. Did you just burp? Really? Did you just burp? Let me see something. All right, let's see what you guys are doing. Yeah, it was a crazy day, apparently. I didn't mean to it, for it to be like that, but it turned out to be a very... Oh! That's the secret weapon. I don't know where the hell it was, it just showed up. Um, home Alone, yeah, Home Alone, but I didn't think I would be the grown-ups this year. Let's see if that works. I think that's Kai. Yep, that's my boy. Here it is. Here it is. You stop leaking. Come on. He's scared of the camera. He's like, what the hell is this? That's not supposed to be. Oh, Juno's coming too. Come on. Come on. Come say hi to people. Okay. You wanna come here? This is their stuff. It's mine, but they took it. Um, oh, I wish you could see them, but you don't. They're both doing this. And then it worked, I brought them here, but you can't see them. All right, you guys start saying how you spent your day because I'm very curious is if everybody 
had the hectic day that I encountered today. And then we're going to talk about your ear, which is longer and probably harder than today, but... I know, right? They're camera shy. Come on, stretchy pants. Come on, there's one. Here's my belly. Come on, baby girl. You want this? You want this? You want this? You want this? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Put those claws back in. Yeah, you do. You stop licking. Yeah, you do. Yeah, baby boy. Oh, he's seeing the hat. Are you gonna groom it? Yeah, he's gonna groom it. Are you gonna play with it? Yeah, you're gonna play with it. You're gonna get my eyes. Yep. Yep. No. Okay. Uh, that's the kind of day I would have liked to have. Just watching movies all day. Oh shit, I put that right under the couch. Hey baby boy, hey baby boy. I would play some Christmas music for you guys, but YouTube is a little awkward with that. So this video might get banned. Why are you biting me? Why are you biting me? Why are you biting my knee? Freezing rain. What are you doing? He's making his bed. Seventy-seven degrees in LA. Oh, I'm coming over. It's I don't know what it is today. It's still in single digits, so I'm not sure. But it was minus something for two days. How many cats and dogs? Three cats, one dog. Eight degrees. I think that's what we have around here. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. Baby girl, come on. Come on, your turn. Your turn. Your turn. But I don't have a spring anymore. But I have hands. Come on, Bubblehead. Come on, Bubblehead. Come on, baby girl. That's it. Catch it, baby girl. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Weather is not the greatest. How do you guys feel today, though? How do you feel about closing this year? How does that feel for everybody? Hope you have hot chocolate. Emotional transform. 2023. Your cats are so big. Yeah, they're huge. I hated this year. Why'd you hate this year? What was so hateable about this year? Christmas music during the summer. <laughs> Why 
are you alone? I'm never alone. My sister died this year. Yeah, there's been a lot of loss. Um, I'll get right back with you. I forgot to plug in my uh, thing and it's dying and then I'm not going to be able to see you guys anymore. And I want to be able to see you guys. Yeah, there's been a lot of loss over the last two, three years, I would say. Um, broke up with the love of my life. How do you know your life is not over? Just saying. My dad died, my dog died. Girlfriend broke up. Yeah. I know, and it's affecting everybody's spirit. For the holiday and everybody's spirit for life in general and I know and it's gonna for a little bit just uh, hoping that you know whenever you're ready and get past the grieving period to to make your own Christmas from now on or your own holidays or your own stuff <clears throat> Well, don't think about the future you know you don't know what it's gonna be where there is light there's hope I like the attitude hurry up and get this year done ah we're hurrying up the energies why let them be you know how I always say why are you resisting? Oh, I'm not resisting. I just want it to be done faster. Well, that's resistance. I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna pull a single card for each of you. I know this is probably very distracting, but for Kai, it's, it's a dream. He, there he is. Uh, I'm probably gonna pull a card for each of you for Christmas to see how your Christmas is gonna be. Quick reading tonight. Yeah, that's what's uh but really really quick. I would bring the Christmas spirit, I would play Home Alone, I would play all of the Christmas songs ever invented. I would have it all together all up in here. But again YouTube is kind of sensitive with content. Oh there's Felix, there's my boy I know this is your favorite toy. <laughs> I know. I took Felix to the vet the other day. He's got a pink eye. Which I, they gave me some something for the eye to put in there. But when I took him out of the crate, the doctor was like, oh my God, he's huge. He's like a tiger. I'm like, yeah, they're pretty big. Pretty big boys and girls. Pretty big. And this one is Felix's favorite, this toy. Kai has another wand that looks a little weird, and that's his favorite, but he plays with this one too, obviously. And Juno has, what's her favorite toy? Mama's chest. I don't know, what's your favorite toy? You play with everything, you're universal. What you doing, boy? What you doing, baby boy? What you doing, my sweet boy? Hello. 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 See, they're all here. Okay. My fellow Virgo. Yeah, he's a Virgo. He's a sensitive Virgo. He's one of those. Uh, he's, he's a king. Oh, do not step on that, you little king. Now I'm kind of scared. I brought them all here and they're not leaving. They, they want to play with this thing. You know, I got to play. I got to commit. I can't just bring them up here and be like, oh, okay, you're here. Uh, no, I got to commit now. Oh, what is that? What is that, baby girl? She's 
so stinking cute if you put up the paw like that. Yes, he is. Yeah, no, you're not cute when you chew on that. No. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, get back to you guys. Three cats. They're all here. That's Felix. That You can see his back of the head. This is Juno. My little girl. And Kai is right here. There's a Grinch. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> I forgot about the Grinch. Oh, hold on. If YouTube blocks me for this guy, I swear to God. Five cats. No. No. That's a lot. Five cats. But, you know, I have three, so what's a hundred more? I guess. I think I think cats are like that, too. As you get one, what's to stop you from another hundred or something? I'm messing with you, I know. Mm -hmm. Oscar fell, fell asleep and he fell asleep right here behind by Mr. Grinch over there. He is turning 18 tomorrow. That's my boy turning 18. That's why he always gets the first spot in the Christmas uh, thumbnails for videos because it's his birthday. Um, it's very... Very... I forgot what I wanted to say. Why you don't do yearly readings? Oh, please don't sit on my chat. Don't sit on chats. Here, yeah, you fucked it up for me. Okay, here, play with this. Oh, no, no, not my hand. Okay, I gotta get those nails off of you, boys and girls. Yeah, that's a that's a huge milestone for him, especially over the last year. It's been a very hard year for him. Uh, uh, we're here through it. Yeah, he's a Christmas baby. Please do yearly readings. I'm trying my best to do them. It takes a lot to do those. And I already have a bunch of stuff to do, but I am trying my best to do them. Uh, we shall see. I'm not promising anything. Dark one and Maine Coon. All three are Maine Coons. The biggest one here, Felix, has a little bit of a haircut. He's still growing some hair there, but he's almost looking like his old self. Kai is a Maine Coon. Little Kai here is a Maine Coon. And Juno, definitely. Yeah. Juno is a Maine Coon. What you breathing so hard for? Did you just get pissed off? You want this end so that you can chew on it. I know you. I know you. I know you. I wish you could see her how she lifts up on her rear legs like that, just into like a, what, what are those weasels?
I have a dog. He's actually in the thumbnail of this video. And he's sleeping right here. He's very old. So all he does these days is sleep or go out, freeze and come back in really late. Uh, sleep and eat and sleep. And drink and sleep. And then sleep again. So, and it's when he was younger, he would jump on the bench next to me. But right now it's off limits. He can't really do that. What's the plans for today? The plans are to pack up gifts after I'm done here and to unwrap them <laughs> right after. Because, you know, it's unwrapping time. Because tomorrow I got stuff to do outside of the house with friends, family, and it's like, okay, I gotta do it tonight. So that's gonna be interesting. That's my plan, to wrap up gifts so that I can unwrap them right after to go, oh my god, oh my god, what did I get? And, you know, some of the gifts I got for myself, so I'm not gonna be surprised, but I'm gonna act surprised. I'm gonna act surprised, because why the hell not? Easy. Okay. Do we ever do personals? I can barely keep up with generals. Doing personals. Never say never, you never know. But not as of now. No. That's a lot to work with. I did it in the beginning when I started my channel for, I don't know, two, three months? How long did that last? I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, sweet girl? What's going on? Are you looking for trouble? Are you looking for trouble? Are you looking for trouble? She's such a precious little girl. Oops. Yes, I'm married. Uh, the best Christmas gift you got as a kid. The Home Alone movie. I think that's, I don't know if that's the best, but that's the one that I am stuck with as a memory. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure if it's the best. Probably not. I would say a bicycle when I was a kid, but I think my brother got that. I think. And then when he got bored, he gave it to me. So that's not really, I think. Or was it for the both of us? See how we kind of fixate on certain things and then we remember certain things in whichever way we want? I'm not sure. I gotta ask my mom. I think it was for the both of us. I don't think they would have gotten my brother a bicycle and me, like, nothing. Nah, that didn't work like that. Where are you? Home. <laughs> I'm home. I'm in my living room. In Chicago, the first one, yeah, it was in Chicago. I actually went and visited the house. But when I went there, no, I went there several times. Last time I was there, I took my mom there to show it to her. Um, they were doing some renovations, so we didn't get to see much. My favorite movies, my favorite Christmas movies, or just movies in general? Merry Christmas from Nova Scotia. No, I, when I talk about past and future energies, I don't refer to the week before and the week after. I refer to past and future and energy is fluid so it can be as recent as yesterday the past or 10 years ago unfortunately so it's hard to pinpoint exactly we say re uh, recent past or immediate future as a reference to give you guys something to hang on to because you know humans need a time concept to hang on to but energy doesn't have time doesn't know time so 
pretty hard to watch a baby boy to put a label in which to kind of make you guys understand that you know it's not too recent or it's not too immediate necessarily hey baby boy what's going on what's going on sweet boy what's going on what's going on come on i'm not traumatizing you i'm not taking it to the doctor anymore you're safe but don't chew on the tree yeah favorite christmas treats oh no food feels so heavy right now because i just ate it's always probably gonna be traditional romanian stuff probably you know it's kind of instilled within me and my mom is definitely or my friends they're not letting me forget anything about that uh what sign is the worst all of us all of us have traits that make us the worst. So um, I don't see one sign worse than another. I see potential in all of us to be the worst. <laughs> so, you know, but all of us are good too. When you drove semi, did you do team driving? Yes, in the beginning, probably the first five months, five, six months of doing it. And then six and a half years after that, I was on my own. Well, Oscar was with me all the time. Mr. Grinch. Christmas foods. Whew. Well, the most traditional one, stuffed cabbage. Uh, do not play with the tree. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. You don't need, I'm here. What are you doing? Sarmale, yeah, sarmale. <laughs> That's what I had before I came in here. Now I feel like but I don't. I don't have many, but just enough. Well, even if you have one, you feel so freaking full. They always fill you up. Those goddamn sarmale. Similar to Polish. Yeah, Eastern European foods are similar in nature. They have similarities for sure. My sign? No, my sign is not off limits. I'm a Leo. Grim bake for the Grinch. <laughs> With cream. Yeah, sour cream. Do you ever go back? Mm. I was planning to next year, but it's going to be such a crazy busy year that I don't think I'll make it next year but if I don't make it next year for sure 2024 I'll go for a visit um, so we'll see we shall see I'm not putting anything in there I just checked <clears throat> generous expressive but when they're angry oh man well yeah yeah <laughs> uh, but it takes a lot to get us angry but when we're angry yeah yep truckers in in minnesota uh, yeah, I was a long haul driver. Actually, Minnesota was amongst our first rounds. Um, there was a target there that I was delivering at. Mm. I 
I didn't like it when it got wintry in there. Even though we used to pick up from there and go to California, and that was the part that I liked. Uh, okay, Felix, why you chew? That's our, that's, our, that's our present from the neighbors. That's for us. They didn't specify it's for Felix. Do you live on the coast? No. <laughs> In between coasts. <laughs> what made you stop the semi? Tarot. <laughs> uh, I started reading and my channel took off and I'm like, okay. Because it's pretty tiresome. You, you do it and you do it. I always needed a break after eight months, eight to ten months. That was my breaking point. I'd be like, okay, I need at least two months off. Very tiresome for the body. Um, so I love driving and I still do. I love the driving part. The other stuff where, you know, you break your back through it, not so fun. But uh, dealing with rusted containers and a flat every week and things like that, like old stuff. When did I start? 2019, I started learning about a month and a half later, I uh, I threw a channel up there on YouTube. I'm like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do this. And then you guys blasted me. I'm like, what the hell is this? What just happened? So there I am having a freaking Sparkling water with you for Christmas 2022. <laughs> the cats abandoned me again. Yeah, yeah. So, Oh god, they're fighting. Uh, Juno and Kai, please. Uh, I shall... Hold on, you guys. Where's my... I heard growling. Not you, Felix. You weren't part of the growling. Oh god, he's coming. Okay. You. You. I know it's you. I know it's you. I know it's you. Because you're the crazy one. You're the crazy. You're the crazy. You're the crazy. You started all the freaking time. And sometimes you don't. But most times you do. Boy, don't you like a cougar? We're not cougar town here. Okay, let go. Okay. Alright. He took the one. I know Judy, I, yeah, I will hit myself in the face. I do that all the time with them. I got them a present. It's not here. Hey, I hear you licking. It's not here. It's in the reading room where I do my readings. It's right next to us. Um, they're not using it. But I got them a present. Sometimes I use it to bounce in it. It's one of those wheels. Because we had a huge one from plastic, made from plastic, and it was very... I don't like it. So in one of my Leo moments, I threw it up after I broke it. Um, so I got them a smaller one, but they don't know. And for this little guy here, I got him a bandana with the birthday boy on it and things like that. And then they said it's going to be delivered in later than predicted, which is going to be next week. And I'm like, next week is not his birthday anymore. He's going to get past that. I might as well, you know, draw something on some 
scarf and put it on him, but I didn't get to. Um, Leo moments. Yeah, I mean, you know how it goes. You see something, you get a little pissed off at it, and you're like, hey, little something that pisses me off, and you, you know, nurture it outside of your home, probably with your legs rather than your hands. So, stuff like that. No, I'm not that Leo. I am, but something has to get me there. Like really bad. What's going on? I thought you left. Why are you here? That's Oscar's bed. Can we please? Come on guys, tell me how your year was. I'm here to listen and to read to everybody else. And we can talk about it. And then, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I pull some cards, I'm not sure. But, uh, we'll see. coaster yeah traumatic worst ever in my life my year was interesting great took up painting roller coaster I think wins the Roller coaster. Yeah, roller coaster wins it. That's cool. Roller coasters are cool though, right? When you're off of it at the end. I mean, I like the ride. I always like the ride. I don't know about people next to me because I'm yelling like. Slow down, you're too fast. No, you did. Not a dream about a roller coaster. There you go. My ear, a roller coaster. It's been decided. <laughs> um, my year, how was my year? What the hell did I do this year? You know what? What's important is that it was. I don't even know. We got Juno this year. She wasn't here in last Christmas. She came to us this year in February. She was a little dot. Oscar's still here with us. Grateful for that. My little boy. I gotta really give you a bath. Kai is crazy, so nothing changed there. happened to my other channel in all honesty it's been paused because I've been trying to get to it and I've been trying to finish up a lot of things around the house that are not done yet this little dude right here the 18 year old is um, at the point of being obsessively uh, dependent on me 
and if I move a little to the left, he goes ballistic, he goes crazy, like, where is she at? What is she doing? Why isn't she here with me? And it's very hard to deal with him at this point because he's very old. Very, he requires a lot of attention. So for that, a lot of my energy is put drawn here on him. Um, you know, to, with with my boundaries too, to that, because I'm having a life too. Um, but he's my boy, so, you know, it's, it's very hard to deal with um, old animals. But, so kudos to whoever's doing that, and people, and you know, you know how it goes. Uh, what I do for fun. In all honesty, and it's gonna sound like I'm old and I don't give a shit, I would just like a beach, a chair on the beach, and that's it. That would be my fun. Um, yeah, walk through mountains, forests, hiking, things like that, but not too much. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. Even though I did have in my mind at some point, and I think I'm gonna still do that. Um, to do the, um, what do you call it? I'm a Leo at the end of the day, so sun for me and a little chair to, to sleep on, perfect. Um, but I wanted to do, after seeing that movie, what, what was it called, Wild? Yeah, I wanted to do that. Like I'm gonna take three months off of my life and I'm gonna go in the middle of nowhere, do this freaking hike, you know. What are you hoping from Santa? Fucking love for everyone in this world. We all need it. Just fucking love. Um. keep to yourself a lot yeah yeah I mean I try to definitely there's a lot of and I know some people are pissed off like you're not open with us it seems like you don't care about us blah 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 okay but uh I gotta protect myself too you know because this situation right here came with a lot of complicated things where uh, some people just don't have boundaries and they decide to cross mine too, which I don't have many, but uh, they try to they try to cross those boundaries. You know, they push. Is your bracelet leather? No, it's not leather. It's actually some. No, it's just material. Something needed, I think. But I just like the evil eye thing, and with the energy in it, I, I feel like that's protection for me. Juno, let's not chew the gloves. Juno, Juno, let's you know, not eat the gloves there, because. I mean, they're clean, you can chew them, but don't. No, let's not, let's not do that either. Why don't you come here? Come on. Or stay there, but away from my stuff. There you go. I just have one tree, this one tree, to this year, 
No, I have a little one in the reading room too. So two. How's the dip dish pizza? I. I. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'm gonna say something and all Illinois people are gonna hate me. But you know, I mean, I was brought up in Europe. We don't have that there. I'm not saying that it's not good. I ate it. It's okay. But I'm used to another type of pizza. And, uh. You know, when people say New Yorkers brag about them having the best pizza or that area over there, like, we have the best pizza. I gotta give it to them, they kinda do. We have like two places here in Illinois that are very close to home, but the ones I had there, they're closer to home than, or to Europe, you know. So, I don't know, I think it's a matter of taste, though. And if you grew up on this here, then, you know, it depends. Living off-grid. <laughs> you know what? We had our, uh, our power went out a few days ago for, I don't know, half hour, maybe a little more, but some, somewhat, yeah, kind of like half hour. And I'm like, we're just sitting here and we're like, okay, so we're kind of being forced to just be without anything, any kind of distraction, any kind of, I can't work because I don't have, you know, I was running out of battery for my laptop. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll just be, it was a little awkward, I got to admit, but I'm like, no, it's really, really nice. Um, and I, I, my life is very weird in that way like I can adjust to all of this being nothing and be okay um, I can adjust to things popping up like this like you know Christmas trees and all of and be okay with that so I kind of go from one extreme to another though so I'm okay with either or living off the grid completely like if it was the end of the world tomorrow yeah I can adjust to that really fast but as a choice I don't know, I think we need to live the human experience, as fucked up as it is sometimes. That's what we're here for, you know? I mean, it's okay to grow, it's okay to be flying up there with energies all the time, and it's pretty awesome, pretty amazing, and I have that tendency to go there and, you know, stay there. Um, but at the same time, we're here to live this human experience with whatever it brings. You know, that's just me. So, zombies. <laughs> A piece of advice for 2023, keep in the moment. Just keep being in the moment, you know, whatever happens, whatever it brings, just be there with what it is. And even if it feels like it sucks, just be there. It's still emotions, you know. We have the tendency to be like, oh, when it's good, we so want to hang on to those emotions. When it sucks, we're like, eh, we don't want these emotions. Why? They're emotions. They all need the same, you know, giving from us or being with it from us. <laughs> My favorite major arcana, really? Strength, Leo, or Sun. Uh, no, I'm not that vain. I don't think, I don't know. Maybe I am. No, I think it's sun, but not because of the Leo, because of what it represents. Your human experience is crazy. All of them are crazy. How can people overcome anxiety in real time? That's the problem, time. It's hooked up to anxiety. Are you celebrating Christmas alone? No. 
I'm not alone. Just because I'm on camera alone doesn't mean that I'm alone. Uh, I choose who to show to the world on my end. <laughs> but for now, it's just me, so you're going to have to deal with me only. I am alone. You're not alone either. You're with us. You know? The Grinch is there. Yeah, the Grinch is there always. <laughs> I'm alone. You guys are not alone. You're with us. What's wrong with you guys? What are we, mincemeat? We're, you're, you're not alone. And if Christmas is tomorrow for you, then play this back and, you know, you're not alone. We're here. You, nobody's alone here. Any big travel plans next year? I don't want to even get into that. There's a lot. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. There's so much. You know, we'll get there. Does Oscar gets extra, get extra treats for his birthday? He doesn't get any treats at all, and it's a bummer. I hate that. But the minute he puts something other than his food in his mouth, he's just gonna, his stomach is gonna go crazy, so no. Um, he might get some more food of his, which kind of defeats the purpose, it's like, really, but you get for Christmas? I don't know. I didn't open it up. Well, first I got to wrap it. We got to wrap things up and then unwrap them to see what I got. I don't know. <laughs> no, we're not means me. I take naps. Somebody asked how do I decompress after dealing with the energies and readings. I take naps. That's why a lot of people are like, oh, how do you take naps all the time? I need them. I take naps every day and I love them. I, I didn't used to. I thought naps were a waste of time when I was younger. And now I'm like hungry for naps. I'm like, nope, I need naps. I need to recharge. I need to release and recharge. Does reading affect your energies? No, fortunately I know. Think of me like a channel, like something that's coming through. So I know how to release those energies, not to hold them for me so that they can affect me. Um, I still have stuff hanging on to me, but I know how to cleanse myself from that too and how to protect myself. But they get to me because it's a lot, even being the middleman. It's a lot of energy passing through and um, they can get very, very exhausting. Luckily, I know how to spit them right back out, the energies. That's why we forget a lot of the times you ask us or you, you talk about your own reading and we're like, what the hell are they talking about? Did I say that? And apparently, yeah, we did in certain videos, but we don't remember them. So... Yeah, you went by pretty fast, so I almost didn't see it. <laughs> but, you know, what better opportunity to talk about my naps, my favorite times. What would you do if you would have been alone on Christmas? You know what I did one time? Because I was... I get where people are coming from, where either they dealt with a loss recently or with... I've been there, done that with all of it and Christmas was the worst time for me for many many years until one night I'm like you know what fuck this shit I'm gonna do Christmas for me I don't need to do it for anybody just for me I think I bought a branch of a tree or something and I put two globes in it or something and then I got home it was really really late 
and at 2 a.m. I was cooking crepes for me. And that's it. That's what I was doing at 2 a.m. for Christmas. And it felt like Christmas. It felt like, look, I did this for me. It's so nice. And I kind of did it for Santa, too. And I don't know. I just decided, okay, I'm just going to do it for me. I'm not going to stay in this. So I'm not doing anything because I'm alone. And I get it. Again, I get it. Um, how it feels. I've been there. But um, you get to change that, you know. Uh, that feeling of alone. As I said, you're not alone, you're here with us. Um, so you're never alone, even when you think you're alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the spirit. Good. And whoever's not, that's okay too. But just, you know, it, we put a lot of energy with words, the words we put out and the words we, we, we don't even realize how much impact that has. And if we say, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, you, you create that feeling of alone. But if you think about it truly, you're never alone. You know, whatever perspective you want to choose to look at, like from in this situation, you're never alone. Uh, but the more you say you're alone, you're gonna feel that. That doesn't mean you're alone. That just means you're creating it. You're feeling it. I'm not alone. See, you're not. Um, oh, sorry for your loss. I know there's been there's been a whole lot of loss this year. Oh, it's a lot. Um, and again, whatever it is that you need to feel, you don't want to do Christmas, you want to be angry, you want to be nostalgic, whatever it is, just do it that way. It's fine. You know, um, it's your right to that pain, to that grieving process. Just, um, just know that at any time you can change that for you. You know, when it gets too much, when it gets like, okay, I've been doing this for too long. Uh, you can change it. Who the hell? Let me see, because it might be a neighbor. Hold on, guys. I'm telling you, I got the greatest neighbors. I got the greatest neighbors in the whole wide world. This is from the dog people. I told you we name our neighbors. It's from the dog people. And I'm kind of scared to open it right now because I have all the animals around. I'll ask her sleeping. She's the only one that would. So I'm just going to sit with this right here. Um... Dog people. Yeah, that's the dog people. They have they have this huge dog, and I'm not exaggerating when I'm showing it like this. And then they have a puppy, which is the size half of this dog, but it's going to get to be. Uh, the puppy's not a puppy anymore. That's a bear. That's a little bear turning into a big bear. Uh, what are they called? Oh, man, I forgot the breed. Leonsburg, Leonsburg, Burger, I don't know. A big, a big dog breed. So that's how we know them, the dog people. They lost their son last year too, so that's why it's like, you know, there's been a lot of loss. And uh, it wasn't Santa. Yeah, it was Santa. Santa needs, um, needs some help at the North Pole with wrapping cookies or baking. They said they were in the mood for baking, so I don't know.
Leon Burger. Yeah, that's the that's the breed. They're huge, huge. They had three of them. Two of them died sadly last no this year. They knew Ali was live. No, I don't think they knew, because <laughs> I don't think they would have cut in. Uh, Yeah, they're beautiful. The big one actually tried to, was kind of coming in with his nose towards me and he kind of pushed me. I'm like, dude, you're not that little. You're not as little as you think, you know? He was trying to, to play. I'm like, and I have the talent to really play with puppies as their puppies. And when they grow up bigger than myself, they kind of play like puppies with me still. And I'm, you know, I had a pit bull rip through my pants even though he was my boy since he was little. I'm not, I'm, I'm scared to, to do that with a little guy that's half a bear. Yeah, exactly. Little dogs think, think they're ladies. Like nobody would get close to my truck when they heard Oscar barking and when they saw him being like, oh, is that, yeah. One car. Okay, what's the time? What, how far did we, when, what are we doing here? No. How long have we been on? An hour? Ah, okay. 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 Okay, let's do the cards. Let's see what you guys have for Christmas. I'm gonna pull one card. For each of you, not for each of you in the chat, for each of you as an element. Okay. Let's see, Capricorn, what do you got going on for Christmas as an energy? Page of Swords in reverse. Um, <laughs> You're not in the mood. You're like, uh, I kind of want to do this and that, but I'm not going to do shit. So I don't know if you're going to. Let's see if we have a solution for that. Uh, it's, it's that kind of an energy where you want to do something, but you're like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Fool. Yeah, the energy that comes through for you is self-care, you know, kind of... It almost feels like you have to do something, but you're not going to do it because it's too complicated. But if it were to just, you know, just lay down on couch and watch movies or do whatever the hell you please for you. Yeah, that's you would do that for sure. But something else that you need to do or you have to do. No, you're not going to do that. So that's it for Cappy. Let's see. I'm lazy. Lame. Lazy, lame. Okay, uh, Taurus. Let's see what you got going on. Everybody's lazy for Christmas. Oh no. King of Swords, no. Taurus is not. Taurus has shit to do. They got stuff to do. And they're probably gonna do it, but let's see if they're gonna. Will they want to do something? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> okay. 
uh, Knight of Pentacles, the World card, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like Taurus really wants to do something. I don't know what. It's like I have to do this one thing. But then they're kind of like, um, I, I don't know. I feel like I don't like the way I'm doing this, the way I'm going at this. You know, it's it's kind of weird. It's kind of so. Let me try it in another way. But they're definitely doing something. I don't know what. And it's kind of like nothing stopping Taurus here by the looks of it. So it's just a matter of they kind of change their mind of, on how to do that. But they really want to do something, which I don't know what it is. But something. But that's it. So, so far, Cappy is um, lazing around, taking care of themselves, eating popcorn, watching Christmas stuff. And Taurus is... Wrapping up gifts, I don't know. I don't know, but they're definitely gonna do it. Whatever it is that they're doing. Uh, Virgo. Virgo for Christmas. Oh. Virgo is depressed. Virgo's like nostalgic. It's stuck in the past. It's like, oh, I remember the time when Christmas was Christmas. It was today. No, that's not what I mean. So Virgo is a little upset here. Virgo. <laughs> Let's see. Today's Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah for whoever's celebrating. Let's see what Virgo has to say. But Virgo wants to change this attitude. Virgo wants to get out of the, ooh, it's sad nostalgic I want the past back they want to change it the problem is they don't know how so they're kind of being going to be in conflict with okay the past energy I want that but how do I create a new with the past put them together it's a war so I can't do that let me just kind of fight with myself over what it is that I do want and what it is that I wanted and that didn't turn out right and this isn't turning out right and everything is a shit show and that's Virgo uh, it's, it's an interesting reading uh, for you guys today in the way it's shown up. That's it with earth signs. Let's see. The penguin is Oscar. Let's see fire signs. Let's see Aries. What's going on? Aries is calming down, Six of Swords here. You're calming down. You're like, if you're coming from a period of time of probably how my day was today, like hectic, like ah, you're you're chilling. You're stepping into chilling mode. So let's see. Can I see the cats again? No, they're sleeping. One of them is sleeping right behind the camera there. One of them is in the tree. Oscar is sleeping even, and Kai, he's usually right under the tree, but it's their nap time. I woke them up already, so let's see. For Aries, five of pentacles, two of cups, four of cups. Ah, oh, you're coming out of something here. Possibly a breakup, possibly a loss. You don't like it, the way it feels. But it does feel like things are smoothing out for you a little bit for Christmas at least. You know, you're looking a little better. Like you, you may still be experiencing this. Sorry, Oscar's sleeping and barking. So he's too cute for me to not look at him. He stopped. You may still be going through whatever this is. Some sort of an energy of loss that you don't look happy about. But uh, again. At least for tomorrow, you're looking like, okay, I'm kind of chillaxing here for a little bit. Um, giving myself a break here for a minute. So, that's good. Alright. Oh, sorry to hear that.
Let's see for Leo for Christmas. Seven of Wands. Leo's like, eh. Leo is probably not liking this Christmas much. Um, they're kind of like, I keep on hearing that Romanian expression of Giga Conta, which, which means you're against everything. Um, I don't know, Leo's looking a little, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't, like that. I don't know why. Let's see, let's see why Leo doesn't like shit for Christmas. Let's see what that is. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups. There's a little bit of disappointment here on Leo's side. So Leo might be upset with one situation in particular. There's a partnership that shows up and Leo's like, eh. I don't like their attitude for Christmas this year at all. So I don't know who the hell you're talking about here, but there's someone you don't like in the way they're behaving or something. I don't know. Um, okay. That's it. That's it. Leo. 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 Sagittarius, High Priestess is here, so you're going a lot with your intuition. It, it almost feels like you're going to do whatever the fuck you want for Christmas, so go with it. Whatever you feel like doing, you're going to do. What are we doing? We're doing one card for Christmas energy, and then clarifying a little bit. Queen of Cups, the Strength card, the Emperor. And you've got all the energy to support that. It, it almost looks like you can do whatever the fuck you please, whatever you want, whatever. And you're going to get away with it because you're in this attitude of, yeah, I can, and I will. Like, you're, you, you don't care about anyone's opinion or anyone's, you know, you're just in this energy. Yep. Whatever I want. I want to drink a bottle of water, I will. I want to drink a bottle of vodka, I will. I want to drink a bottle of... You know, don't drink, but you know what I mean? You can do whatever with this attitude right here. And it's feeling good. It's feeling, you know what? There's a sense of freedom with this, because you don't care. Who thinks what? You're just gonna do your thing. All right, let me see. Libra, let's see what's going on with you. just realized I'm, I'm looking at me there and I'm like oh, I never look at you guys in this video because I always look at your comments but I can't see you're too far in the in the glasses in your glasses okay is it snowy no it's not snowy but it's coldy it's so coldy, it's not even fun. Libra, let's see here. King of Swords. Libra, you're... Uh, I'm, I'm unsure with you. I tend not to believe you. You're, you're showing up like, yeah, I got it going on. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Look at me. I'm great. Look at you. You're great. Look at everything. Everything's great. Let me see. I believe you. There's something in there that seems unbelievable but let's see the strength card the eight of wands the hangman ah uh, you want to get something going but you're meeting a resistant energy um it feels like 
it's you almost show up to me as the one person let's say you know you're with your whole family for Christmas and you're the one person that wants to get shit done I, okay it's time for you know setting up the table okay let's do it nobody's there to help nobody wants to do it okay it's time for let's do a game let's do this let's you're the one that brings shit up and nobody's doing anything I don't know people are chilling you know, you may be dealing with a Capricorn that's chilling on the couch. It's like, I'm not doing shit today. You know, or with Sag, it's like, I'm, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I Who knows? But you have the attitude of let's get going. Let's get shit done. And you're, you're met up with resistance here. So I don't know what this is about. Uh, it's funny. You're still going to do it, I think. You know, even if people are refusing, you're like, yeah, well, I'll do it myself. So, Aquarius, let's see. Oh, I'm pulling three of these. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll split you. You get the Seven of Wands as the main energy. And the Seven of Wands... You're a little Grinch this Christmas. You're a little bit of a Grinch this Christmas. Let me pull one more so that we make it three clarifiers here. You're not as bad as Leo, but you're a little bit of... Hmm. Um, Nine of Cups, the Justice card, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, you know, someone's trying to bring up the Christmas spirit or something around you and you're like, yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's sweet, uh, but no. You know, you're the resistant energy Libra is dealing with, or someone like Libra, you know. You do see that it's nice, and you do appreciate the niceness of whatever comes your way, but you're like, eh, not really wanting to participate in that. So, it's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They'll remember you next year, and you're not going to get a present. You know, probably. I'm just saying. Um, mm, 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 mm. Gemini. Gemini, bam! Ace of Swords. Ooh, man, you're on fire. You want to get something done. I don't know what, but you want to get something done. For Christmas. Let's see. The Three of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. It's it's postponed. Whatever it is that you want to get done, it's delayed. It's one of those things where, yeah, you're not gonna because, you know, you gotta wait for it. So I don't know what it is, but I see your energy kind of running and doing, and then, poof, like, nope, no, not today, sorry, nope, come another time, you know, so I don't know what it is, but, um, it's postponed. Okay, um, to Pisces. Wheel of Fortune. That's change. So whatever the situation presents itself as tomorrow, it might change. If you wake up and feel, look, oh, Christmas is lousy this year, you, you might change your mind by the end of the day. Or if you feel like, oh my god, oh my god, Christmas is so... You might change your mind at the end of the day too about that. So you're in the middle of a change there for Christmas. Whew. Let's see. Oh, 
You might get some bad news, but I, uh, that's all I'm gonna say about this one. Uh, I don't know, or you've already gotten the bad news. There's, there's some bad news attached to this one. But there's some change attached to that too. So I'm not sure where you fall in this. Either you already got the bad news and you know, the, the Christmas spirit may be changing things up a little bit or you're in the Christmas spirit and you're getting the bad news. I'm not sure where you fall in there, but there's some bad news attached to you here. But that's it, that it, this news is gonna be brought on by the energy, another energy from outside of yourself, which is not you, basically. My God, I don't even know how to talk. Um, but that's it. Let's see. Let's do one for Scorpio. Buck. Hooey. You really want to know what this card is? Do you really want to know? The devil. Which could be as easy as, oh, you're dealing with a Capricorn. You know, we could just throw it in uh, to make it easy. Do you want to make it complicated? Do you really want to go get, get into this devil? All right, let's. 666, see, the viewer 666. Six, six. Oh, that's the devil right here. Um, with that energy. Let's see. The more bad news, it's not allowed. The world card, the four of pentacles, the higher fent. Ooh, nice. So some sort of devilish energy here, which could be some sort of toxic traits are ending for you this Christmas. You're deciding to not do things in the same way that you did every Christmas. You're going to do it in a different way. Which I don't know what the hell that means, but it's positive. The devil is going away for Christmas. And you're hanging on to something quite, you know, meaningful, deep. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you belong to another deck. Cancer, let's see. Bam, seven of cups. This is you opening up presents and there's lots of them by the looks of it. Or let's see, let's clarify, let's see if you get any presents. But there's something that's shown up with a lot of stuff. Left and right, lots of stuff. So let's see. Ooh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Eh, maybe. Mm. Okay. This is what I've been talking about, you know, with people that claim, oh, I'm all alone for Christmas and all of that, and you keep on saying, you're not alone, you're with us here. It's kind of like that attitude. You've got a lot of things opening up for you. But it's a matter of, do you see them? You know, are you going to go from the perspective of the Three of Swords here and you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so alone. I have nobody. I'm sad and lonely and all sorts of things. Or are you just going to kind of like go with what is, yeah, I'm alone, so what? Let's make Christmas with me and me. I'm never alone. And with Ali, possibly, if I choose to watch this video. You know? So you get to choose here how to make your Christmas, which you've got the probably the hardest task. You've got options. It's a matter of you gotta choose which way you're gonna go this Christmas. You know, you're gonna see it like crap, or are you gonna see it like, hey, let's make Christmas happen? And that's it. We did Christmas readings too now. That's it. I have to go wrap up gifts so that I can open them afterwards so that I can see what I, Santa got me. I got me some stuff too, but Santa got me gifts. I gotta do it. <laughs> and that's a wrap, yeah, that's a wrap.
and I gotta go rap. Um, I'm a little numb though, like I'm stuck in this position right now. It's gonna be very, very hard for me to come back to life so that I can, you know, fuck. Life is hard, life is very difficult, very difficult. But um, yeah, well, thank you guys for joining my, um, this is my favorite holiday and I'm like, you know what? I have a lot of stuff to do, but fuck it. So does everybody else. So let's come and chat. Let's come and you guys made this happen to begin with this channel, this, this me here, you know? So yeah, why the hell not? It's the holidays. Let's try to spread some joy, not spread the cold. Cause look at what's happening with that. I gotta, I gotta pant for myself. Um, but yeah, you know, and since everybody was kind of down this year, I'm like, let's lift each other up. Let's do something where I do some depressing readings or, you know, stuff like that, where Grinch is dancing for you guys. So fuck it. For those of you that think they're alone, no, you're not. Why the hell not? And now I gotta go rap to be able to unwrap. Wrap my share and unwrap another share for me. Okay. Um, ow. Do not go out there. Uh, but yeah. Dancing Grinch. Yep. Yeah. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I really got to reach, I think, to there to stop this thing. I don't even know how to do it, but I'll try. Um, Merry Christmas and happy holidays, whatever it is you're celebrating. Happy holidays and um, just enjoy the last stretch of this year. You know, whatever it brought, try to enjoy it. <laughs> even when it hurts, try to make fun of it. Oh, no, I'm getting old. I'm getting, th this shit is getting old. Oh, my knees. Okay. Uh, love you guys.